Welcome to April's Business Outlook Survey press conference call. My name is Catherine Dibbling, Senior Media Representative, and with me today is Senior Economic Analyst Mike Trebing, who will be answering questions from reporters about what our manufacturers said this month. With us today is Kathleen Madigan of Dow Jones and Ellen Freilich of Reuters. Mike Trebing will now give a brief summary on today's report, and then we will take questions. Mike? Good morning. Um, indicators from the April Business Outlook Survey suggest that manufacturing activity in the region continues to grow. All of the broad indicators remain positive this month and suggest continued growth. More firms reported higher prices for inputs this month, but prices of manufactured goods remain generally steady. Indicative of continued improvement in the labor market, employment, and average work hours at the reporting firms are also increasing. Firms expect continued growth over the next six months, with over half of the firms expecting increases in new orders and shipments, and over one-third expecting an expansion of employment. Thank you, Mike. Questions from Kathleen Madigan, Dow Jones? Um, the, the higher input prices, any indication of exactly what prices are rising? Um, we didn't receive too many comments on the, on the price front. Um, a few firms mentioned energy prices um, and transport-related costs. Um, but you're right, uh, we've seen a little bit of a, a trending up the last few months in the prices paid index with the, um, the share of firms reporting uh, increase in costs um, going from 38 to 39 percent last month to 44 percent. And um, that number looks like it's the highest it's been since the middle of 2008 now. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of a trend up in, on the cost side. However, on the prices received side, the, the manufactured goods prices tend to um, have leveled out more or less uh, with about the same percentage of firms reporting increases as decreases. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Questions from Alan Freilich, Reuters. Hi, um, Mike, just go into the, um, uh, you said one-third of the firms expect to hire over the next six months? Right, right. Okay, can you just, uh, were there any comments related to that? Uh, is it replacement workers? Is it expansion? Any, any, any uh, just sort of color or texture to that? No, comments? no, I mean, we're, we're, we're still hearing in our comments, um, you know, um, you know, many of these firms are still not seeing seeing increases, and and thus comment that they see no no reason to add employment at this point. But but when we look at our indexes, we're still seeing you know a positive um, a diffusion index since I think December on the employment front on the current side. And as I mentioned, about a third of the firms expecting employment growth over the next six months. So no no general comments about employment. Um, about a third of the I can't hear you. About a third of the firms expecting what? About a third expecting increases in employment over the next six months. Okay, thanks. Follow up questions, Kathleen Madigan, Dow Jones. Uh, yeah, is there anything uh, that we should read into the inventory index? Uh, you know, it's a big uh, increase from negative eleven to two. Right. Um, we've seen um, positive numbers on the on the uh, inventory index in a couple of the last few months. Um, and uh, again, going to the comments, we've we've heard firms mention that some of the some of the demand that they're seeing is related to in the inventory building of their customers. Um, um, no reference in the comments about their own inventories, but we can we can assume that some of that is probably related. Questions? Ellen Freilich, Reuters. Nothing else. Thank you, Kev. Okay, thank you for joining us today, and we'll talk to you again in May. All right, thanks. Bye-bye. To follow up on our press conference, I'm going to ask Mike Trebing, Senior Economic Analyst, a few more questions about April's Business Outlook Survey. We didn't get any questions about the special questions, so let's talk a little bit about that. We asked about borrowing conditions, and since we asked a similar question in April 2009, we have the opportunity to see how things have changed for manufacturers from last year. Can you talk to us about that? Right. We, we asked them uh, this month um, about how um, borrowing, borrowing conditions compared to what they were just six months ago. And then we also asked them about uh, whether they were having any problems um, 
obtaining financing for either long-term or short-term uses. Um, on that first question about uh, uh, borrowing conditions, we had slightly more firms um, indicating that, that conditions had eased somewhat than uh, reported that they had tightened somewhat, um, about 16% compared to 13%. Uh, percent with a majority of firms, 51%, saying that, that there were no change in conditions. So on balance, a slight, a slight easing in their, in their minds. Um, and when we asked them about the um, uh, difficulty obtaining financing for, for long-term uses, uh, uh, still about 26% of the firms indicated some difficulty of one um, degree or another. Uh, which is just slightly lower than what we uh, heard from them last last year in April. And uh, likewise for um, problems financing short-term um, uses of, of, of credit, 19% um, uh, of the firms indicated some, some problems um, compared to 22% last year. Uh, we did ask them, however, whether obtaining credit, long-term or short-term credit, uh, had reduced the firm's production or sales. And um, last year when we asked that question, about 16% of the firms indicated that indeed um, credit conditions had, had constrained their production in some way. But this, this, this month, uh, only about 10%. So on balance, the, the, the special questions suggest um, slight easing, although many of the responses were very similar to what we saw last year in April. Well, considering we're in a recovery from a particularly severe recession, is that unusual that credit is is been is tighter? Um, no, I think um, um, looking at some of the detail, um, we did ask them about whether whether credit conditions had had um, whether they were having severe difficulty or or, or modest difficulty. We had a few firms indicate um, that um, they were still having severe difficulties, a slightly larger percentage than last year, but that some of that may have been due to the, um, uh, the depth of the recession, as you mentioned, and, um, and um, um, you know, their credit, credit rating may have been reduced. It's, it's hard to say. We just asked these general questions and didn't get too many comments in specifics. We, um, we saw that the new orders increased, but shipments fell by eight points. And we talked a little bit about this in the press conference, but can you talk to me about what the relationship between shipments and new orders is specifically? Yeah, I wouldn't make too much of a, of, of a deal of the, the, the fact that those indexes moved in the opposite direction. That often happens. Um, the general activity question is intended to, to, to be an overall appraisal of, of, of conditions. So we assume the firms kind of weight all of these, these factors of shipments and orders um, and the timing of, of shipments related to those orders um, is not always uh, one to one. So I think the, the, the key point here is that all of these indexes are, are positive and, and um, above, above their average levels. Um, and now with uh, activity in new orders, we're, we're seeing the April numbers slightly above the first quarter average. So, so I think on an average basis, the, these are still positive readings and indicative of, of some growth. Okay, thank you, Mike. You've just been listening to April's Business Outlook Survey press conference call and a brief conversation with Mike Treving, Senior Economic Analyst. And I am Catherine Dibling, Senior Media Representative. Next month's Business Outlook Survey will be posted on our website and on Business Wire at Thursday, May 20th, 2010 at 10 a.m.